morning. We're just about to pick up our steel. That's going over to Omaha for the weekend. So we are here in Paducah, Kentucky right now. We're going to be picking up right out this way. I think it's right along the rail line. See what we're getting into. other place. Yeah, this was our door, or this was our gate, but the GPS was really delayed, so we'll try again. Now, I think those angled sheets that we see right there in front of you is like what we're getting. <sighs> Let's figure out where I'm going here. There we go. Easy load to some steel sheets. Um, I hauled something similar to this. You guys might remember. They were much cleaner looking though. They were actually silver and not this big up nasty cutted stuff. But that's what we got. 
nice and easy should ride nice and smooth about just shy of 20,000 pounds so that's why I was adjusting I was adjusting the air pressure for the uh, drop axle since before I had it set to carry about 2,000 on that last load now it's up to about 9,000 so I'll look at the air pressure again but it looks like it's about 9,000 for that and about 18,000 for here give or take some everything's looking pretty good so far eventually I'll hook up this lockout kit I don't know when but eventually and that's that Alright, so let me get a move on and I'll preview what, what's going on for uh, next week. So, I'll talk to you in a bit. Alright guys, so we're done for today. Um, we're over here at a Flying J in Pendleton, Missouri, just outside of St. Louis. On, what is this, 40? Right? 70, sorry. Here's day 70. I don't get out this way that often, so I don't remember what all the interstates are. Um, so yeah, I'm at a Flying J because I got a shower credit from getting fuel here a while back. So I want a free shower. That's going to be the plan. Uh, we got about five and a half hour drive to get to Omaha for tomorrow. That's Saturday. Shouldn't be no big deal. I'll show you what I have here in a minute. Actually, I'll show you right now. Why not? It's a little windy, so I don't know how well you can hear me. But here's what we got. You obviously saw us loading this earlier. So that's what it is. It's riding nice and good, nice and smooth. Already had one person holler over to CB saying, what the hell is that? I mean, honestly, I don't know either. I don't know what they use this stuff for. They call them steel pillings or steel pilings, something like that. So if you know, let me know. I've hauled this stuff before, but I have no idea what they use it for. But everything is doing pretty good. And yeah, let's walk you back over here. Got the truck washed oh yeah i didn't get to mention that but the truck is washed looking good again gotta look good for the weekend um so yeah so next week we got ourselves an interesting one next week um let's see after we drop off in omaha we got two pickups all within Omaha basically all right there our first and main pickup is something for the railroad and we're gonna pick it up it's like a little pallet or whatever it's like a thousand pounds our second pickup is a forklift like a 10,000 pound forklift both of those are going out to New Mexico I'm taking another gamble going out there the money's right especially between the two loads and it's just it's it's worth it but it's new mexico there's no work out there but we're gonna try it so we got a load going out there the railroad load is going basically somewhere north of las cruces uh north of there south of albuquerque obviously and then the forklift is going all the way over to gallup so it's about a four and a half hour drive from there so yeah and the thing is i'm gonna have to call to double check on everything the best way i think would be to go to gallup first drop off the forklift and then come back down to wherever the hell the place was called um by las cruces but i think what's gonna have to happen based off of what the uh shipping hours are is i'm gonna have to go and do the railroad one first and then go all the way up to gallup the only downside to that is it puts me pretty deep into New Mexico for trying to get out. So if I have the deadhead, which I'm probably going to have a deadhead anyways, and it really doesn't matter, but I got a deadhead all the way through New Mexico, and all the way through whatever else state that I'm going through, whether it's Texas or um, Colorado or whatever. So 
I'm not quite sure how that's going to play out. I'll figure that out come Monday slash Tuesday. But um, I'm working on getting my trip uh, permit set up. I'm guessing it's going to be about a $215 permit looking at the miles. So it is what it is. Uh, in case you don't know, New Mexico has a weight distance permit, uh, weight distance and fuel tax permit that you have to either sign up for and file quarterly, like your IPTA, or you can do one time trip permits when you go into the port of entry or file it online. I'm trying to do it online, that way I don't have to deal with it at the point of entry. But I guess last time when I went there, they created my account. But I never got the account username or password or anything. So when I tried to do it online now, it says that there's an account created for my DOT number, but I don't have any you know, access to it. So I just sent an email to them, and hopefully I'll get an email back with instructions on how to fix that. That way I don't have to you know, screw around at the port of entry just trying to pay them money, especially if they're busy. I don't want to deal with that. So that's the plan. Hopefully come Monday and Tuesday I'll have, you know, an idea of what I'm doing as far as getting the hell out of there. Um, yeah, so I'm not expecting to get anything great going out of there. I'm really probably just going to take whatever I can to sort of pay for fuel on the way out and then some. But, uh, yeah, hopefully by the time we get out of there, it'll be Thursday to Friday and I can find, you know, another good load that'll take me for the weekend and make the rest of the week worth it so that's the plan anyways i think it's time for a shower time for dinner i'm gonna sleep in I'll probably get out of here at about nine in the morning tomorrow get into the omaha area probably around five and then relax for the weekend and pick it all up again on monday so anyways that's it um the usual appreciate you guys for watching and um have a fantastic weekend